Hey, what's up guys? In today's T-Day episode, I'm gonna show you guys how you can paint your bullet fast weights. Let's go. Painting your bullet weights can get rid of that lead color. Some people don't like that color or some people want to match their lures. For instance, if you have a Texas rig set up with a green pumpkin crawl, you may want a green pumpkin cone head so that it will match the whole profile. This can be easily done at home professionally. So let me show you guys how we do this. All right guys, so I got my table set up here with my candle and of course I got my Protec powder paint. You wanna stir them up and fluff them up really well because what's gonna happen is if it's not loose enough, you're gonna have like clumps when you heat up your uh, weights and you dip it in. So what I have here is simply a paper clip. I bent it out so I can use this to poke it into the bullet weight. Now I actually bent the uh, paper clip and it is actually not 100% straight. It's actually a little curved. So what happened is, as you see, I am tapping this thing. I'm shaking it. It's not falling down. So if you put it straight, of course, it's going to slip down and fall. But that curve actually holds on to it really well. Now, all you do is heat up your lead cone. All right. This is a pretty big weight. I normally don't use this size, but when I do, I prefer not to have that lead color because it's su such a large profile and it's all silver. Once it's hot enough, you dip it in, you take it out, and it may not look perfect. And uh, you can heat up just a little bit, just not a lot. You don't want to get it super hot, but it's supposed to turn clear after you bake it and cure the paint. Okay. Once it cools down a little bit, you can take a plier and try to yank the cone head out. But if it gets too tough like this, what you're going to have to do is use your hands. And you, what you want to do is you want to take the cone and just twist it. Just don't burn your fingers, guys. All right. So just touch it a little bit. All right. Twist it. And eventually, it'll break the paint on the top. And you can just pull it out and it should be good to go. Now, once you finish all your painting, you're going to take it to the oven and do some baking. So I am going to do one final painting. I'm going to be painting a two-tone cone weight. This is one of the weights that I've already painted the color black. And now I'm using a heat gun to heat up the cone. And once it's hot enough, what I'll do is I'll use the brush and I'll dip that into the paint and I'll tap it lightly on top of the paint. Now, you can notice that it is getting a little clear here. That is because the heat is melting the paint that didn't really fully set onto the cone weight. So it's going to look really, really nice when you put it in an oven and uh, bake the rest of it at 325 degrees. Now, you notice that I put the heat gun back onto the cone because there are some that didn't melt all the way. What I want to do is melt some of those paint before I put it into the oven. So this is done. Take a look at that. So we are going to take this to the oven. So the correct way to heat up these cones is to put it on aluminum foil standing up. If you don't, it's actually going to cause some issues, which I am going to do this in this video so that I can show you guys the final product and what happens if you actually lay it down. So as you see, I am trying to hide that one piece right there. What happened is where I was laying it on aluminum foil, it got stuck because it got so soft and uh, liquidy, it got stuck on aluminum foil right there, all right? But everything else is nice and shiny because once you bake it, it cures the paint and it becomes nice, hard, and smooth. What you should do is actually stand it up and that should prevent that from happening. It's a smaller cone weight that I have right here and it is a lot smoother, much better, all right? That because I stood this one up and even if the bottom gets a little messy, no problems because that's gonna be touching the plastic anyway from whatever lore you're using. So there you have it. In today's T-Day episode, I have shown you how you can paint your bullet weights. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys do, don't forget to smash that like button. And if this is the first time you guys are watching this video, please subscribe to my channel. If there's any sort of other topics you want me to bring on to T-Day, all you guys have to do is leave me a comment below with your suggestion. Until next time guys, tight lines.